Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're asked to find the equations of the tangent line to this curve at this point. So first thing we want to do is we're going to find the derivative, which is going to give us the slope of the tangent line. Now we can't find the derivative with what we know of this just yet, but we can get it into a form that we can. So first of all, we want to get y on its own. So just rewriting it right here. y squared equals x cubed. If we take the square root of both sides, that will get y on its own. Since the square root of y squared is just y, and that is going to be equal to the square root of x cubed, which you can think of as x, x cubed, to the square root, which is just to the one half, right? The square root of anything is just that thing to the one half power. And this, if we have x cubed to the one half power, we can multiply the exponents, which is going to give us y is equal to x to the three times one half, which is three over two. Now this is a power function, and we can find the derivative of it more easily. So y prime is equal to we imagine a little invisible one there as the coefficient. We can write that out in front. Then we take the exponent, 3 halves, bring that down, multiply it by your coefficient. Your new exponent is the old one, 3 halves minus 1. So our derivative is going to be y prime is equal to 1 times 3 halves, which is just 3 halves, times x to the 3 halves minus 1, which is 3 halves minus 2 halves, so it's going to be x to the 1 half. This is our derivative. In the general form, we want to find it at this point where x equals 1. So we can find y prime of 1, the derivative at this point, plugging in 1 wherever we see x. It's going to be 3 halves x, so 1 to the 1 half. 3 halves times 1 to any power is just times 1. The thing times 1 is just the thing itself. So the y prime of 1, the tangent lines slope at 1, 1 is just 3 halves. So you can say y is equal to 3 halves x plus b, using that slope-intercept form, where m is your slope. Now, we have x, we have y, so we can plug those in and solve for b. We get 1 is equal to 3 halves 1, plugging in 1 for x and y, plus b. 1 is equal to 3 halves plus b, subtracting 3 halves on both sides. These cancel, we get b is equal to 1 minus 3 halves, which is negative 1 half. So our equation of the tangent line is y is equal to 3 halves x, that's our slope, minus y-intercept 1 half, and that's your final form. How do we find the normal line? Well, the normal line is going to be perpendicular to the tangent line, and that means our, their slopes are going to be negative reciprocals. So 3 halves, the slope of the line we just found, times this slope of whatever it's going to be, times this m, is equal to negative 1. If we multiply both sides by 2 thirds, that means this is going to cancel. We have the m on its own. The slope of this normal line on its own is equal to negative 1 times 2 thirds is going to be equal to negative 2 thirds. So now we have y is equal to negative 2 thirds. x plus b, we can do a similar thing, plugging in x1 for x plugging in 1 for y, and solving for b. So doing that, you get 1 is equal to negative 2 thirds times 1 plus b. 1 is equal to negative 2 thirds times 1 is just negative 2 thirds plus b, adding 2 thirds on both sides. These cancel, and we get b is equal to 1, which is 3 thirds. 3 thirds plus 2 thirds is 3 plus 2, 5 thirds. So the equation of the normal line is going to be y, is equal to our slope, negative 2 thirds, x plus b, which we found is 5 thirds. So once again, this is the equation of the tangent line, and this is the equation of the normal line. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video.